Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you a smart way to create an environment when you are in hurry or close to a deadline. So the story is I had only 2 days to finish this scene and do the scripting and editing work for this video, because nowadays I am very busy working on the upcoming basic environment and lighting course. It will be an affordable course for everyone, as I mentioned in the community so don't miss it. I needed a quick solution to create this environment before this Sunday. So thanks to Graph and Tool Library, it helped me a lot in this process and made it possible to deliver this video on time. So let's get started. For some of these assets I am using a Sketchfab to Unreal Engine plugin, you can check out this video for more information. Time to design it. First I am placing this ground mesh. As you can see the pivot for these meshes is out of place, and to fix this either I export it into a 3D software, and then bring it back, but I can also use Graph and Pivot Setter to fix this very quickly. Just open up the tool in the tool library. Click on Pivot Setter, and assign the meshes, and a position for it. See how quick it was, and saved a good amount of time. Let's add the other assets. I am also going to utilize the Simplify Mesh tool to reduce the poly count. Open Simplify Mesh and assign a mesh in the material. And then it reduces the polygons. I'll do the same for all the assets. Alright let's set up the light for this scene. Go to window and light mixer. Now just click click and clicks. I am turning off the lumen as always. As you can see the surface or ground area is still dark, and to fix it, go to Skylight Settings and click on Real-Time Capture, and here we go. Let's work on the foliage which is the most important part of this scene, and for this, I am going to utilize the surface scatter tool. This way I can do any changes in size and placement in just one click, rather than rework and repaint, with the default Unreal Engine foliage paint. First, grab the foliage into the scene and hide it under the terrain. Once you open surface scatter it will open up this new window, and then you can select the mesh or foliage that you want to scatter and click on the plus icon to assign it to the tool. Then select the terrain and assign it as surface mesh. 
Let's change the size to match the scene better. Let me change the focus first. Let's go back to the tool settings, click on scene tool, and now I can work on it further. Let's add another layer of foliage by doing the same process. I can also change the value for the seed to get random results. Now it is time to add the moss, first bring the moss mesh into the scene, now go back to the tools library. Click on moss build up and repeat the same process as we did for the surface scattering. You can play with these settings to match your scene. Thank you. 
I'm almost done now all I need to do is a small adjustment and a little bit of color grading. Again thanks to Graphen Library for providing me with this awesome tool. If you want to try this tool library download it from the link in the description and get a 30 day free trial. That's it for today's video I hope you had fun and learned from it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel do it now and never miss an update. I'll see you all in my next video.